Absolutely. We're talking about rallying the ungentle and hazardous art of hurtling a car at over 100 miles an hour along a twisting country lane. It's this skill that's made Colin McRae world rally champion. So, into first gear, off we go. This is the world through the eyes of rally driver Colin McRae. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Rally driving is a race against the clock, battling at 120 miles per hour over some of the most unpredictable terrain. Most rallies are three-day affairs covering a blistering 1,000 miles, but some are much longer. It's a sport that separates the men from the boys. Colin was clearly destined for driving success, and 20 years later, he was crowned Britain's first ever world rally champion. So how did he do that? Well, Colin's the front man for a top team. His co-driver is Derek Ringer. During each race, they spend 24 hours cooped up together in the rally car. They have to trust each other completely. They've also got to be able to trust the car, and that's one of the best in the business. A team of engineers takes 300 working hours to build the shell of the car, and it'll only last a couple of races. All rally cars are based on ordinary road cars with just a few vital alterations. The body shell is reinforced with alloy steel and aluminium to make it stronger, lighter and faster. The turbo part engine has a massive 300 horsepower, four times that of an average family saloon. It has to be tough and reliable. That costs 50,000 pounds and it's tested and tested until it glows red hot. By the time it's finished, Colin's rally car has cost a cool quarter of a million. So you don't go ploughing that kind of money into a car unless you're sure you've got a driver who'll do it justice. To ordinary drivers like you and me, Colin may look a little frantic here, but he's in total control. The trick is to balance the car perfectly as it hurtles round a corner. It's quite a delicate job when you're in the car if you're aggressive. You're not going to be as quick, you're going to break the car. Uh, so you really have to... It maybe looks quite aggressive from outside, but it's all fairly delicate and controlled inside. How does Colin balance his car so brilliantly? He uses fancy footwork thanks to these special lightweight shoes. In a split second, he's got to work brake, throttle and clutch. This calls for lightning coordination. At the same time, he's changing gear once every second and a half. And he's steering straight into the corner so that he comes out of it in a perfect line. Driving like this can take its toll on even the toughest cars. If there is a problem, the engineers are allowed just 20 minutes to put it all back together again. Then it's back on the road. It's Derek's job to guide Colin over all this crunching terrain. He tells him exactly what's coming and how to tackle it in a series of coded instructions. How do they do that? Right tightens to three right plus. Well, before the rally, they drive slowly along the course, writing what they call the pace notes. The notes have several parts, the distances, the gears Colin should be in, the direction of the corners, and how they tighten. It's their very own map of the course, more than 80 pages long. It's all written down in nice big writing because the car's um, moving quite fast and quite bumpy. Without these notes, Colin would be lost. Derek didn't tell me anything, I would be I, I would be so slow, I would never win anything. So, I mean, I rely on him getting his job 100%. And it's that guarantee of 100% performance, again and again, whatever the course and whatever the challenge, that makes these men the best in the world.